Hello everybody, this is RJ Shea, and I'm at the OA Galleries in downtown Kirkwood, Missouri, at the corner of Oregon and Kirkwood Road. Beautiful artwork in this place with wonderful artists. And one of the artists that are represented here in this gallery is with us tonight. He was our guest speaker, Brian Haynes. And Brian gave a wonderful presentation on the process of how he does his paintings and illustrations and a lot of other miscellaneous questions from a big audience tonight. Brian, how are you tonight? Very good, Bob. Thanks. <laughs> so, Brian, tell us what kind of painting it is that you do and who do you sell these paintings to? Where are they printed? You're in galleries. You're in, you've done books. You're, you've just done a children's book just recently. So tell me about the gallery that you're in right now. I'm lucky enough to be in a gallery in Manitou, a Manitou Gallery in Santa Fe. So that's a dream come true for me. But they, they want Western-themed things, um, telling stories like I do. I'm an illustrator, just an old illustrator like you, Bob, telling stories still. And I get to do Western themes now for the Santa Fe Gallery. But that's not all. There's a lot of people in Missouri who still want to commission Missouri landscapes or the stories of the Missouri hillside, you know, that we still have plenty of to tell here. So just an old illustrator. Now, you started out in school in New Mexico and then Los Angeles and then wound up back here in St. Louis. And you're living out in St. Albans, which is a very picturesque countryside. And that kind of gave you a lot of ideas about your future paintings, did it not? It did. And, you know... As artists, we just start doing things that we like. And then to our surprise, other people like them. So that's what happened. I started doing paintings for myself, and to my surprise, other people liked them. Then I started introducing figures, Native Americans, who I just was imagining might have been, and farmers and all other things to tell stories within those landscapes. Your narratives in your paintings are fantastic. And you have a new book out, which is called what? Growing Up with the River by Dan and Connie Burkhardt were the authors, and they in, invited me to do nine chapters, nine stories of the Missouri River from Herman to the Confluence. So nine towns, nine fictional stories, and it's, it's a children's book, but they call it a stealth adult book because there's so much to learn and enjoy in it, even for adults. Yeah, the illustrations are fantastic. Where can we get that? OA Gallery sells them here, and they're nicely priced, and all the money goes to the Katie Land Trust. Excellent, excellent. You also had another book before that, too. And what is that called? New Regionalism, because I had to title something. We had to put a something on the cover, Bob. And so uh, the people who published the book asked me, what, I, what do I call myself? And I had no idea. So I called it New Regionalism, because that kind of captures the legacy of the painters that came before us, but hopefully a new twist on things. And that word, regionalism, got coined back in the 30s, right? right. With uh, people like um, Thomas Hart Benton and Grant Wood and uh, Charles Stewart, right? Is that Charles John Stu Stewart? John, Curry? John Stewart Curry, that's right. Yeah. John Stewart Curry. And, you know, as I look at all their stuff, Brian Haynes has got to be right smack in the middle of those guys because... Your narratives, your storytelling, and your artwork is fantastic. And I think your stylization is much cleaner than all of those guys. No, res no disrespect to any of those fine artists, but you're going to be in museums one of these days. I hope your children and grandchildren get to see that. So that whole regionalism thing dealt with um, pe people farming the land and, uh, you know, the landscape and just people doing regular jobs, you know. But, you know, that goes back to even some of the old um, uh, European painters, too. I mean, all of that stuff were depicted people doing just regular things, right? Mm -hmm. But your stuff is more of a story, I think, when I look at some of your pieces with all of your animals and, you know, the American natives and all of your the, the homeowners building, you know, a new life out here west of the Mississippi, and that's really where regionalism came from. I think it's a great title for your book, and it's a fantastic book. And where can we get that book? At OA Gallery. is a Gallery. great place to do it. Yeah, it's a great book. And tell me, so what, what kind of project are you working on right now? I'm doing paintings for um, a distillery in Louisville, so a series of four paintings for this, the biggest distillery in, in Kentucky. Um, so they wanted a retro look. That's the kind of commissions I get for illustration or just these uh, older looking things. So they wanted a 1940 themed pieces to uh, upscale their 
uh, brand. Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing paintings for uh, private commissions of landscapes and also working on pieces for a show in July in, in Santa Fe. So Wow. And you also do a lot of portraits too, right? Yeah. You, you can be commissioned to do that. We've seen some of them. They're magnificent, wonderful stuff. So you're doing commercial things as well as private commissions. And do you ever do anything for yourself? Do you even have time for that? You always have to make time for something that's your own. That's where all... The new things come out of your mind and always do something that's just for yourself. And to your surprise, usually other people enjoy it too, but there's something you'll learn, something you'll invent in that piece you're doing for yourself that'll bleed over into your other work. So, Brian, tell me, where would, what do you want to be doing in five years? Where would you like to be in five years? What would be your, your goal, your short-term goal for something like that? I'd like to be doing just what I'm doing right now. It's going great, uh, knock on wood. That's fantastic. I want to thank you for coming here tonight. Thanks, You're a wonderful illustrator, painter, and we all aspire to do some of the stuff that you're doing, and we hope to see you on TV someday here when I go, I know that guy. I'm just wishing you would have wore your style hat tonight. Listen, this is RJ and Brian cashing out tonight. We wish you the best, and we'll see you in June at the St. Louis Artist Guild when we have our next event. Have a great one, man. Bye.